Inflation is soaring across the world on the back of global food and fuel price hikes following the Russian invasion in Ukraine. As Russia ranks as the world's largest oil exporter, supply disruptions have led oil prices to go up by close to 10% since the start of the war. Let's look at how this hike has spiraled into price hikes across countries, which comes out clearly from the inflation figures from March. India's recently released March inflation stood at 6.9%, which is at a 17-month high. This, in fact, inched closer to the RBI's set upper limit of 6%. Indian domestic petrol prices have, in fact, gone up by over 10% in just three weeks. Moving on to the United Kingdom, the March inflation for the UK stood at 6.2%, which is the highest since 1992. The figure has outstripped the 6.2% increase the UK recorded in February. Next to Spain, inflation soared to a 37-year high, touching 9.8%. Spain has even seen widespread protests over soaring costs of food, light and fuel, which have been accelerated by Russia's invasion in Ukraine. Moving next to Germany, where inflation crossed a three-decade record to touch 7.3%. Concern over energy supplies and prices have also prompted Germany to slash its 2022 growth forecast. The federal government's panel of independent economic advisers expects that the nation's GDP will expand by only 1.8% this year. And finally, let's go across to the United States of America. The inflation for March in the U.S. accelerated to 8.5 percent, which is the highest since 1981. In fact, as per reports, the Federal Reserve is expected to announce two back-to-back half-point interest rate hikes in May and June to tackle the soaring inflation. U.S. Central Bank Federal Reserve in March already hiked the benchmark interest rate by 0.25 percent. This was the first interest rate hike by the Fed since the COVID-19 pandemic hit. The economic fallout of the war is being seen across countries in such soaring inflation rates. The World Trade Organization, in fact, has said that trade in goods would grow much less this year than previously expected due to both the COVID-19 pandemic as well as the war in Ukraine. As Russian and Ukrainian exports of food, oil and fertilizers are under threat from the war, the organization has downgraded its forecast for world merchandise trade growth to 3% from 4.7% earlier. Countries are now expected to raise interest rates further to control the inflation. In fact, the Reserve Bank of India has already signaled an interest rate hike in its recent monetary policy.